WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a little bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix is coming from the Dow, which is up 37 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. The S&P is up about 7 tenths percent. That's 26 points. The NASDAQ, 1 and a quarter percent, 133 points there. The Russell's off 9. That's a half a percent. 3% three per for those semis. They continue to get hard, hit hard. They're down 71 bucks. There's not going to be any kind of bottom pattern out here until you get those semis to uh, form some type of at least short-term bottom. Trannies are off 64 bucks. That's a half a percent. Gold is up a buck. Trade out at 1676. Silver off 26 cents. That's one to three tenths percent to the downside. Lightspeed crude is off 2%. She's trading out at 89 and a quarter. Natural gas is basically flat. And the 30-year Treasury, 124.28, that's up 23 ticks. Let's take a look at that nine-panel market update chart. As we begin, we look at the ES Mini. That's in the upper left-hand corner. What's that telling us? Well, price is below the bottom of its profile daily and weekly. There's a new weekly profile that is attempting to form. And it still has not hit that uh, target from last Monday. And that's at the 35.71 level. Price got down to 35.80. I suspect it'll get all the way down to that 35.71 level. That is especially the case as long as that spot volatility remains above its 50-day exponential moving average. When it's above the 50-day, it is basically sellers that are in control of the market. The NQ been below the bottom of its daily profile. This will be session number three. It's now taking on last Monday's low, which is 10, 8, 90, 75. A close below that negates its buy the D point pattern, and that would suggest lower price. U.S. dollar index trading above the top of its daily and weekly profiles. That suggests a run to resistance. That's up the 114.74 level. Goldilocks. Now, if this is just a counter trend move to the downside in gold, the reason why I say that is because gold was able to break out above resistance, the top of its daily profile. A new profile has formed. It is actually below the prior profile, so that's kind of a bearish message. Not kind of, it really is a bearish message. However, because when this profile formed, price was above it, a counter trend move would find support at the center of that bearish structured profile. That's at 1668.80. The low today, 1667.50. We're trading above. Now, what gold needs to do is get back above 1680.50 to suggest that there's a possibility it's on its merry way higher. Same, tr same is true with silver. It tested so far the top of its daily profile. That key level is 1921. We can see that light speed crude also attempting to form a new profile. So sellers are up at the top. That's up at the 93.64 in support. All the way down at 80.59. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show, but if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.